everyone to part two of our fabric uh, background uh, creation so in this tutorial what we're going to be doing here is showing you how to add patterns to your uh, fabric or drapes or whatever you want to call them uh, so let's get started so the first thing I need to do is obviously make uh, my fabric and I'm going to quickly get my gradient tool up Let's try and make a a quick a quick background like so. Right, okay, that'll do. So the, what you can do is go to your bucket paint bucket tool, and then you'll probably have this look up here. You need to make sure that you've got your sets a pattern about 10% opacity tolerance about 32 and uh, pick your pattern that you want now you may have to click a good few times to get the pattern to come through but the reason why I'm doing it that low is because obviously I don't want the I want to lose the look for the on the curves you start to lose the the look if you put too if it's too too thick and all we're after is the pattern really and then once we've got the pattern on there you can take more time but there you go just up the color balance like so a bit of red and if you wanted to change that to blue or whatever color you want you know, green anything you like That's a nice pattern. Now you can use that for a number of different things, card making, uh, anything you like really, backdrops, curtains, clothing, patterns, whatever. So let's, uh, let's carry on and, and show you a few others. So let's get Fab 2 up there, go back to my gradient. Another gradient, like so. That'll do. And you can take more time, as I said. I'll just let me uh, just copy a, a few of these, so we keep doing it. And uh, let's let's do this one. So as I said, you can just go to your you look here, pick what you like. What that one is. Oh. I think these are called Victorian patterns. You can download them. I think I've got them on Deviant Art or something like that. And there was a, they're all free. You can download them for free. But they come in pretty handy because it's modern, sort of old style look, and that's what we deal with in photo restoration is the old sort of look. So then obviously you just add a bit of colour to it like so or you make them purple whatever colour you like but there you go that's another set of sort of patterns that you got there let's go to the next one and uh, find out what else we've got got some uh, because we've got as I said got low opacity you have to be quite on the fill button and it keep you only after the pattern so then just go there color balance you could leave it like that I suppose but you could just touch it a little tad like that and just get the color that you're after and obviously if you want to change the colour completely you just pull around with these things but there you go I mean that's going to save you a lot of time trying to find something so let's go to another one let's have a little look there see what else we've got 
think these are floor tiles looking sort of we could have um I don't know what that is just make it quick and remember you can use the filter tool the artistic filter tool you know you could use that if you wanted to to do your in here to do your background sort of I think it's pretty limited to how many you can use but I mean they're there you can use them you know so the list is endless really another pattern that you can use greeny pattern like so uh, and if you so say for instance you didn't quite get all that you could just go back and just add in with your bucket tool the bits that you missed like so so it's not set in stone you just go back over if you missed a bit of the drape you want a bit more pattern to come through you just go back just drop it over like so. So that's that one. Uh, if you wanted a, a bit of a, let's have a look. See what else we've got there. I've got some flowers here. These look pretty modern. So I mean, it just gives you an idea. Let's just get some colour on that first before we add any more and you can there's the flowers sort of it's a bit more, more modern I don't think that was Victorian but there you go it just sort of gives you some ideas of the pattern stuff you can get um, a bit of a floral job there Let's have a look at that one. That looks like bloody 1960s <laughs> LSD job. Let's have a little look. So, colour balance and just a touch of that. And you ain't got to put a lot on, you just a little touch to sort of keep the original colour of the pattern, otherwise, you'll lose the, the real colour, obviously. This one doesn't work very well, it's not bending. I might put too much on, too much clicking. That's what I'm saying. If you go too mad, you'll lose the, the, the drape look, it'll just look flat. So you've got to bear that in mind. Um, so I think we've got one more, time for one more. Uh, well, we ain't, we've just put that other stuff on there. But you've also got, um, you've got this sort of lippity look you know there's a few different types I'll just add a few to one as you can see and then uh, there's a bit of a mixed bag there it gives you an idea of the different sort of colours you can use that looks like a satiny look you know and then you've got this one with a bit of leopard skin in it and a darker one and then uh, that sort of paisley look and see if we've got uh, let me just see if I've got enough time to show you um, see if I've got enough time to show you the, the filters in Photoshop themselves to have a little look ok so if you went into artistic here and if you went in plastic, that will give you the plastic wrap look, like so. And then you add your colour to that. You'd have like a plastic wrap look. You've also got, um, there's a few in here, burlap. That'll be like more like a, you know, some of them are really, you can't use, but I should imagine you could use some of them if you if you go through them all but I mean to be honest you could quite easily just download a load of textures off the internet like this one that looks a bit curtainy sort of thing but you've got burlap as well click the 
the scaling down a bit so it isn't too in your face. Click OK. Add your colour like so. I mean they are there. I mean there's sort of another another way of doing it. I mean it's a ton of different ways. I'm pretty sure you've got loads of ideas. But anyway, as you can see, that's just a few little ideas for you. So get creating and let us know by your comments what you've been doing. Thanks very much for watching. I'll be making some more tutorials in the future. Bye for now.